for non-Jews. Yeah. Oh, you're calling us muggles. Actually, it's more oh. like mud blood. Mm. <laughs> Great. <laughs> awesome. I didn't mean. I said goyles. I didn't girls, but said muggles. Yeah. I know, uh, but right. the half first half is the same. And yeah. As yeah. everybody returned. Yeah. We are all fine. Returned. He's here. Ready back. Yeah. We're present. <laughs> the fun. Okay. We are here. Okay, wonderful. So at this point, the encounter is completed. And so what do you do, Lay, as you guys are standing around in the aftermath of bloody rat carcasses and burned ones? And I think I need I to go it. take a nap. My head hurts. <laughs> Everyone get to bed. We'll reconvene in the morning. Fucking... It's still the afternoon. <laughs> oh, awkward. I kind of lean towards the uh, barrels of alcohol in the corner. Okay, what do you attempt to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> I ponder if I can steal some from there. Well, don't, don't even think about it, drunk. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, if you, you get want, three you drinks already. <laughs> I mean, if you want, or you can attempt to do a skill check of. Uh, what would be a good one to test you with on that one? Maybe thievery. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So I, I, Go ahead. I look around the basement to see if I find anything interesting. Uh, Although I do have a very good thievery. Yeah, perception check me on that one, uh, Homer. Nothing too special. I mean, just just kind of what you saw earlier. I mean, you can tell that the the alcohol is you know of of good quality. It's not some trash. It's not like the D and D equivalent of Coors. Um, <laughs> oh god, oh here god. we go. Loot is a, loot is a, <laughs> this is actually a, a legitimate thing. Loot is a thing, right? Loot is a thing, but the rats did not have anything on them. Okay, they were rats. I'm done here. Okay, yep, so you're too. heading upstairs? Yep. Okay. Um, I kind of... Well, you already looked at the barrels, never mind. Yeah, I uh, followed them upstairs. Okay. Torvok follows suit. Fine, I guess. I'll give him the peer pressure. <laughs> Alright, so you head back upstairs. And... I like how it reticulates spines. And so, let's see, there we go. Alright, so everybody kind of piles back out, and uh, Len looks at you and says, Oh! Smells like hell down there. <laughs> Tell me you finished the job? Of course we did. Wonderful. Completed your task. It's I done. Reach for a bottle behind the bar, of course. <laughs> thievery check, please. It's not thievery if I'm getting it for, if I'm, all my drinks are being paid for, though. Len kind of walks over and kind of uh, grabs the bottle. He says, but you're only half done. Oh, fuck. Fucker. He says, you took care of the rats downstairs, but I need you to take care of the rats outside. The figurative ones. Oh, Wait a minute, fuck. you did say jack shit about this. Actually, he did. He did. Oh. Um, he said the other rats as well. Xander kind of walks forward and he says, I don't really have a whole lot of information, but maybe we can go see if Rain's awake and maybe he can tell us something about it. And, uh, Len kind of looks to you guys and says, well, Xander is Rain's apprentice, and if there is anybody who can tell you anything about it, it would be the person who got jumped by these so-called rats that are giving me problems. So where is he? Xander says, I can take you there, if you're willing to come with me. Sure. How can, can I heal him? up? Is it going to get us out of this before town? Before Oh, do yeah, you guys can heal up for the encounter. It will, or not really the encounter, so to speak. Um, you can heal back to full health using your healing surges. If anybody has any temporary HP, it is gone. So the three points I gained are done even though I'm technically not at full HP? Technically at this point, your HP will be resolved back to full, so okay. you would just drop off that one temporary HP that you have. The temporary will be converted to full in this case. Okay. Okay. 
Um, to restore HP, you use your healing surges, which restore one fourth of your max health, and it's rounded down. So for you, it's Paul, seven. Seven, correct. So use healing surges as needed to get you back up to full. Okay. I think for you it would be three. And then for David, if you want to do the same, I'm already at full. You're already at full. And then Homer, I don't think you took any. And then nope. Homer, nobody got you? Okay. No rats touched me. I initiate a fist bump towards Homer. <laughs> I think about it, and then reciprocate. And reciprocate, okay. Alrighty, so do you guys follow Xander? I do. Anything to get me out of this town faster? Yep. yep. Okay. And yeah. Torvok? Alrighty. Come on, Torvok, let's go. You walk outside, and you follow Xander. I'm just going to show you where he goes. We're not going to do the whole drag five tokens of you onto the okay. cityscape and follow. We're not going to pull this. So Xander walks outside, and he walks over to Rain's house with you all in tow. Okay. So, by the time you guys get inside, Xander has walked over to the table, and Rain is sitting there. He's he's definitely looking a little bit worse for the wear, and you see a, kind of a large-ish looking uh, walking stick, as far as you can tell, like next to his feet. So, Xander asks Rain, you know, hey, you feeling any better? Is not really, but at least I'm up. I sit down at the Got table. A point. Rain kind of looks up. Who are these folks? Xander kind of explains. Well, Len hired them because he heard that there was an issue, and they took care of one kind of rat already at the tavern. They figured they could help deal with the rats that, well, jumped you. Kind of looks the party up and down. Do you have anything to say to Rain? Give me a second. Sure. So what exactly Sorry, happened? Yes, as soon as I had a mouse bullshit. God. Okay, you ask him that, Baron? Yes. Okay. He explains that he was on the way into town, because he kind of explains, first of all, like what he does. He is kind of a supply runner... And like a goods provider, like he's almost like a courier. Like people go pay him to go pick up stuff from town, which is not too far away, but it's far enough away that it would be difficult for them to like leave their places of business for an extended period of time to go get it while like shutting down their business. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of a runner. He goes and he gets stuff. And um, along uh, the Morris Roads, which are just outside of town, uh, not really just outside, maybe about a couple miles away. Uh, he was ambushed by a group of four bandit highwaymen who call themselves the Rats. The Rats, he huh? Was, he was ambushed by the four of them. Are they related to the Sharks or the Jets? Because I've never heard of either of them. What'd they get but, away with? <laughs> he says they got away with the supplies that I was set to bring to the bar, so alcohol, meats, grains, Ooh. baking supplies, basically the things you need to run a successful tavern, but... you know exactly how much of each they got away with? He says it was pretty much my entire supply, so roughly half a dozen barrels of alcohol, maybe somewhere between 40 and 50 pounds of meat, and as for the grains, maybe three or four sacks worth. But you aren't exactly sure. You don't know the exact numbers. He says not in particular because they load the stuff up on the cart and then I bounce out of there. How Do dangerous you would you suspect these men are? He says, well, I don't know exactly how extremely dangerous they would be considered to a party of people in equal in size, but to travelers they've been terrorizing us for quite some time especially if you travel alone but sometimes you don't have a choice oh wait i have a quick off topic kind of thing we didn't oh do we gain like experience or levels there 
You gained experience, but we calculate that at the end of the session. That's right. Okay, cool. Sorry. No problem. Okay. So, but he explains that basically the area, like, taking the area has been a little bit tough because those people have shown up, and unfortunately, even if you have enough people to go after them, unless you're, like, seasoned adventurers or the like, it may prove to be a bit more dangerous, and... He was able to kind of scrap with one of them, but then the other three popped out of the bushes and beat the holy hell out of him. Could you tell How far out what... of the town was it? Go ahead. Uh, we'll I'll... go with Tia first, yeah, yeah. and then we'll go Baron. Yep. How far out? Of the... How far out of the town was it? He Seven says. Miles? He says it was about two miles out of town. How... As far as he can remember, so it shouldn't be much further than that if it was further at all. How well armed would you say they were, and what were they armed with? He says, primarily daggers and maces. Okay. So you'd say they were a uh, sneaky bunch? They were a little bit sneaky, yeah. Mm -hmm. Caught me off guard. Did you get any hits in on them? He says, I was only really able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of them for a little bit, but... When the other three popped out, he was pretty well overwhelmed. Okay. I have no more questions. So you're a weakling. <laughs> one more question from Tia, then? I said I have no more questions. Oh, I'm I thought sorry. you said you had one more question. No, 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 and, I'm sorry. And you called Rain a weakling? Yeah. Um. He kind of glares at you and says, I'd love to see you take on four bandits at once. Well, we did just uh, get rid of a bunch of rats. I move over to Torvac <laughs> and uh, begin to um, place my hand over his mouth as we get him to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what do you want me to roll for that? <laughs> um... I think I'm just going to straight allow that one. <laughs> I just wanted to make it clear that you could not get your supplies back without our help. He says that's correct. I lick Tia's hand because I'm immature like that. Oh, God. <laughs> I glared at you. Well, I've heard all I need to hear. I'm ready. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Xander says, I'll show you the way to, uh, to the roads. Are we going to go to the Rat Pack Kingdom? No. no, I'll, no I'll, okay. So you're going to go back out into the city and we're just going to do the whole, he's going to show you in the general direction you guys are going to head out to. So he kind of motions off that this way is the way out towards Route 17. Route 17 includes the Morris Roads. Okay. So, you guys head out there then? Yes. Yep. Um, are these uh, right here houses? They are. Okay. I investigate the fountain. Water okay, you investigate the fountain before you go? Okay, so go yeah. ahead and do a uh, perception check for me, please. And do let me double check. Alright. Okay. You don't notice anything really off about it. It's a fountain. You know, well, well maintained. You don't really see any, like... No coins dropped in it? Um, oh, that's what And I'm the Jew. <laughs> God oh damn it. God. <laughs> um. All right. I almost spit juice out my nose. So, when you look in there, you maybe see, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of copper in there? Uh, I go to pick them up. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you take two copper coins. Cool. Okay. And All you right, head off to I'm, the Morris Roads, then? Yeah, I head off to the Morris Roads. Okay. I'm in the money. Or tears in the money. Tears you head off to the, the Morris Roads. 
And you're kind of walking on down the path. Follow the gray brick road. Follow the gray brick road. <laughs> Is Torvox singing him. this? Mm, he better not be. No. <laughs> I, I'm thinking it to myself. Okay. Okay. I still glare at him. It kind of. So you guys are kind of walking along the path. Can I, I have you guys? A weird smirk on my face. Go ahead and make me a perception check, please. Perception. R one D twenty plus That's, one. Uh, I forgot. I rolled nine wrong. Hold up. Unless yeah. you just want to add three to that. Um. Okay. I so can. a nineteen. Oh wait, no. The sixteen was for perception. So three. So Sorry. twenty-eight. Sorry. Oh. Oh wow. Really, Baron? Really? This is when so, you roll a natural twenty? Right. So Baron goes hard on that roll, and he is able to see off in the distance. Uh oh. <laughs> hey guys, I can see off into the distance. <laughs> Great. Nice. What's out there? The and distance, I'm right? Close to blacking out from being drunk. You see off in the distance what appears to be a lone bandit. A lookout, perhaps. Might hmm. be the one that tried to attack. Uh, what's his face? Where's his friends, though? We're gonna Mom, get ambushed. Oh, you got a long range attack, don't you? He must have friends. <laughs> yes, exactly. He must have friends. Homer, you've got long, or yeah, you've got long range attacks, don't you? Yep. You might want to send him forward a little bit to um, see if he can't get a range attack on him. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's <laughs> his <laughs> 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 All right. So, what do you choose to do? You have the knowledge that you see the one, but you don't see the others. Um, I think we should err on the side of caution here, since we don't know where everyone else is. We know there are at least three other ones, at least if not more. I ask Homer if he thinks he can pick him off. Uh, I probably can't kill him in one shot. But can you at least um get enough to um? Maybe bring out his friends? Probably. Okay. Do we want to bring out his friends? Well, yes. let's, let's put it this way. No matter what happens, as soon as we attack him, all his friends are going to come up and start to uh, start to take care of us. Okay. Which is why I think we should err on the side of caution. Upon personally. seeing this, I just go right here to be in front of the rest of the party, just in case. I think I need to be okay. right there to attack him. You can, can't you be far away as I can. Okay, I'll go here then. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I follow. Okay. So, are you guys attempting to engage him? Uh, I'm going to now, yes. Okay, go ahead and roll your attack. I might as well gonna, go back here, right here. Gonna vicious mockery him. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Alright, let me pull up my defenses here. That has to be a hit. Come on. Come 17 on. versus Will. It's a hit. Nice. Good. He's going to take the five damage. And he's going to kind of... He's going to kind of stumble around a little bit. Okay. And he's going to cry out, We got company! Here we go. Bring it on. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. And copyright no. struck. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, and half an hour of that audio is now gone. I'm surprised we didn't get it when I did the Final Fantasy uh, victory theme. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get this going here. Go for initiative. Yes, I would like initiative rules, please. 1d20 plus, and I'm sorry, you're gonna have to remind me, initiative is d20 plus charisma? Dexterity. Dexterity. Plus R1, d20. Yeah, that's, okay. that's alright, better place to have it. Nice! Plus better now than in combat. Great. Right. Better now than in combat, guys. Wow. Yeah, crit fail on initiative, I'm not gonna do anything for- Oh, right. uh, should I? I gave you something on the initiative. You did. So that's true. Success. Oh, ooh, two of you? Oh, <laughs> I gotta get you on that now. Oh, I'm sorry. shit. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Fuck. <laughs> well, what goes around comes around. Well, let's see what happens. Ow, 
that's actually, I was about to say, one, maybe I can let it pass. Two, I can't let that pass. I mean, l- legally or in, the, in, in your heart? Because those let's are try, two different things. Let's try both. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and roll the initiative for these four gentlemen. One, two, three, four. Oh, well, the good news is all their initiative rolls wound up actually being kind of shitty here. Well, that's kind of the good news. Kind of, except that now we're all gonna die. And he was a seventeen. So based on our rolls, his was a yours was a core seventeen. So yours is better than his. Torvok had a nineteen. Then we had a ten. We had a twelve. A nine, a four, and a two. Okay. So this is actually kind of interesting how this ends up breaking out, basically. Like, they get their four turns, then you get your four. They get their four, you get your four. Weird. Just a little bit. It's kind of staggered a little bit, but it ends up working out that way. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it might let us play off each other a little better. Perhaps. And let me go ahead and get their HP set up, and you guys already hit somebody. Yes. Archer. Yeah, you hit the arch friend. Okay, so because you you may have gotten the first attack, but you were surprised by how many of them showed up. Therefore, they get a surprise round here. True. Yeah. Fair enough. So, okay. So it's going to start off with orange, and orange is going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And he is going to attempt to chuck a dagger at Tia. Um. And let's see here. We can use the grass and walk on that, right? Mm hmm. With no repercussions? Correct. Not like, uh, in it's not places, difficult terrain. Can't, can't walk on the grass for whatever reason. Oh, no, you okay. guys can. Okay. I would say otherwise. Versus AC, that is a miss. I know that is. That, that got lucky. Then, yeah. one, yeah. two, three, four. And he is also going to toss a dagger at you, Baron. For me? Okay. Oh, okay. Baron. Versus AC. Sorry. Yep, hits. Six damage. Okay. You uh, you appear to have a knife sticking out of you, Baron. <laughs> you okay? If I want to... Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. I think. Okay, he's going to chuck a knife at Tia. Ugh. Six is a hard That's, mess. Yeah. And lastly... So close to the crit fail. And he is going to throw a knife at... Homer. Versus AC. Oh, uh, that's a hit. Okay. AC is 14. Take five damage. Okay. The prize round is over. Let's begin Torvox's turn. Okay, okay, so over. minus five. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, do. I'm, that. I'm fine still. <laughs> I'm gonna do that thing where I can learn about them. You're gonna do a nature <laughs> check on them. That one. Okay, that's not okay. <laughs> well, might help well, us to figure out how much HP they have. They're yeah. not animals, though. Well. All right, I, I am able to like kind of it... maybe see about their HP and stuff like that, right? Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on your check. So we, we, what kind we, of check would be appropriate for this kind of enemy? It would be a nature check. Okay. Hmm. So it's 20 plus nature. It would, yeah, one d twenty plus nature. It would just depend on how good his check winds up being versus difficulties and such. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I have a pretty good nature, guys. <laughs> I mean, it would be costing your standard action. But I mean, you think? can't. I mean, here's the problem: is that. You're around us anyway, like, you. we're all defending your sorry ass, so... Yeah, for um... some reason. <laughs> yeah. Because y'all decided to go up ahead. I didn't want to attack. Um... What are we gonna do? Twiddle our thumbs all day? So... Try to be a I... little bit more strategic? I think that you probably are better off doing that. That way we can at least know a little bit about them, because you're not gonna be do- able to do much anyway at this point. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not sure what else you're going to be able to do if you move. Like... Especially since he's melee. Yeah. yeah. 
two, three, four. I, mean, I could get close to that dude. I mean, it's up to you. I think learning about them would not be the worst thing in the world. If you can get I don't know what close enough to learn. attack, I would, I would do yeah. that. I could attack this dude, no problem. Do that, then. Okay, yeah. okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, hold on, wait, I was here. One, two, three, four. Wait, where are you? I was seeing if I can get, like, to right here, but I guess not, so I'll go right here without, yeah. Yeah, that okay. does not provoke opportunity, because you're just entering his zone, not leaving it. Yeah, I was kind of trying to see if I could go around to this square, but I, don't, I can't. Okay. So, I'll just go here, and do my twin strike. Twin strike, go ahead. Nice. Yeah, that is going to be two hits. And ten, ten quote damage. Correct. Baron, your turn. Okay. I will move. Just debating here where I'm going to move. Okay. One, two, three, four. And I am going to attack. Uh, but but that'll uh, leave you up that'll... to attack from that dude pretty easily. And flanking, yeah. He can easily flank you. Can you, you can't move one more, can you? I can move one more, yeah. One, you two, can flank the archer. One, two, three, four. No, that would provoke oh, opportunity. Oh, opportunity, you're right. Yeah. One, two, three. Like, if I move here, I get an opportunity attack. Yeah, but yeah, that provokes right. from both of them. Yeah. Unless you can, you can actually get here with only one provoke. I think go one. Yeah, but does he? Two, we don't really want to. We already three, we already started four. out on the bottom side of this. We don't really want to provoke opportunity if we don't have to. Yeah. But where you are now, you can easily get flanked by this guy, and that's yeah. my screw yeah. over. Yeah, I'd I'd more say just attack the the green guy. The green and guy. And just position yourself a little better. Yeah, position yourself like one down. And just walk right. up to him and hit him. Like right here. Yeah. All right, yeah, we'll do that then. And um, okay. on this guy, we're gonna do a holy strike. Okay, go for it. Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, enfeebling strike. Okay. That is a miss. Okay. All right, orange's turn. And orange is going to swing with a mace. Okay. Okay, that's the mace guy then. Good to know. AC. 18. So that is a miss. Yes. Awesome. Archer attempts to stab Torvok with his dagger. Oh, fuck me in the <laughs> ass. Hit? I would yeah. prefer not to. Four damage. You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna talk to Baron if you wanna <laughs> want that to happen. Oh god. I'm not drunk enough for this. <laughs> Are you not drunk I enough? I am. Or... I'm drunk oh, enough for both of us, baby. Fuck me. Sorry. Don't mind me. And Maybe if I drink enough. it's now Mace time. So that's a mace guy as well. All right. Versus that, AC. That's 15 AC. Nothing hit. Okay. So he's going to deal. Oh, maces. Oh. Nine damage, and hmm. he gets to shift. Wow. All right. Finally, Green gets to attempt to stab Paul with a dagger. Or Baron, rather. Yes. Who is the <laughs> Paul you speak of? Versus that's I know. Miss. Miss. Okay, Tia's turn. Alright, I'm gonna start by shifting here. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to follow that up with a, uh, a repost strike. Okay, go ahead. 14 versus AC is a miss. Uh, can I get an element, ac an element accuracy on that roll then? You may go ahead and do that. Uh, did you take the other feet? Oh my god, did you just roll the same thing again? Did I? 
No, it didn't show up the second. Apparently, this roll didn't show up. Okay, so mm -hmm. go ahead and okay, reroll an attack roll. Okay, go ahead. So now go ahead and reroll your post. And then you must use this result. That is a hit. Yeah, nice. Thank you. All nice. right. Okay, that is a hit. You deal the appropriate damage to blue. Hey, uh, hey, Homer, see what it is there? I wanna. You can. Uh, you can also do a shift to uh, that guy. Mm-hmm. You. You. Uh, your, your next turn, you can. We can flank this guy. I don't know if it'll do you any good, but it won't do me any good. Okay. I might have a better way to attack. Okay. Okay, That's Homer, it is do. your... Unless, Tia, you have anything else, it is Homer's turn. I don't. Okay, Homer, you're up. I'm going to use uh, Shout of Triumph to hit blue and orange. Okay. Is that a blast attack? Uh, yeah. Okay, just Free making blast. sure, because remember, if you cast a ranged attack, somebody, they get the opportunity to attack. But blasts, they don't. Yep. Okay, so, so go ahead. Shout of Triumph. Ooh. God damn it! <sighs> Yikes! Okay, I can't. Be... Use, he, I can't give him my elven accuracy, can I? Nope. You only can use that oh. once per encounter, anyways. Oh shit! Oh well. And it's only for was... you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you definitely that. missed here. I need yeah. you to roll me a one d one hundred for crit fail. All right. And what is it gonna do? Wait, what? One d one hundred. There we go. He won. Okay, I need you to roll me a 1d20. Oh my god, again? No, there there are a few rules to everything, so... Yeah, it's just funny. It just always it feels like the, uh, the crit that never ends. Okay, 1d4. <laughs> this is a crit that never <laughs> ends. <laughs> it goes hard okay, my your the shout of triumph. Rolling it. You put a little bit too much into it. And as a result, <laughs> you may have blinded yourself for three turns. Amazing. <laughs> nice. great. You You're popped so a blood good. vessel in your eye. <laughs> you are blinded <gasps> unless your save ends it. It is still your turn, so you have a chance to save against the blind. All right. I want is that a... That's a 1d20. One. No, I don't know that. Please don't say Amazing Grace. Yeah, no, you I do not save to, against but... it. You have two more turns of blind. So what are the uh, effects on blind? Can't so, see. when your character is considered blinded, you grant combat advantage to your, uh -huh. to your uh, targets. You cannot see any target, which means the target has total concealment, which means that any attack rolls are at a minus five penalty against them. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You may not flank enemies. And if you want to, for some reason, make a perception check during the middle of battle, you are at a minus 10 on perception. Holy oh, shit. All right. But he can still technically move, yes? He can still technically move, but again, if he wants to attack, he's at a minus 5 on the roll. Okay. Uh, is he able to if, shift right now? Uh, he can, because he didn't move. Because it might be a good idea for you to like, kind of get the heck out of dodge back. for now. Yeah, shift back a little bit since you you're more ranged anyway. Yep. Okay. So I'll shift there. Torvox turn. Okay. So uh, I could either flank this dude or this dude. No, no, no opportunity attack. If you move, you it, unless you shift, you're provoking can... an opportunity. Attack. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. And if he shifts, so, he can only move one square. Yep. Right. Okay, so I could actually do a hit and run and end up still flanking one of those two. You can. Which one would, who should I... Who would y'all rather I flank? Doesn't matter. Uh, Paul's got two enemies, I got one, so it's up to you. Okay, so I think... Yeah, I'll do a hit and run on red. Okay. So go ahead and roll that for me. That is a hit pretty good yeah deal the appropriate damage and checking checking yes you managed to bloody this one nice nice Wait. now and... if you move in the same turn after this attack leaving the first square does not provoke an opportunity to target from that target yes no. but I, I have I'll six. give him the three health oh uh, okay if you want to cool thanks yeah. you get three HP Maybe. 
There we the go. The green in plus three. Yeah, I had to click off. Oh, okay. So I will go one, two, three. Okay. Okay. To flank him. Alrighty. And then you set and... up a flank on the other one for Tia as well. Yeah. 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 I just saw that. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Is now that we're the playing with power. Nintendo power. God damn it. Okay, seriously, but playing with power, power is one of my favorite tracks from Fontomanke. Like, such a great song. I think that's how you say his name. Either Fontomanke or Fontomanke. I'm not sure. Great song, though. <laughs> Look it up. It's really good stuff. <laughs> All right. Turn over. Um, yeah, I can't do anything else, so yeah. Okay. Orange goes after Paul with his mace. Or Baron, rather. I'll get it. Don't worry. Promise. All right. He so swings for Baron with his mace. Okay. Versus AC. Oh, hit. Uh, hit, yeah. Okay. Take nine damage. Okay. Eight shifts. Uh, okay. Oh. Next. He walks over. Did you skip my turn completely then? Oh shit, I did, apparently. I thought Torvok. I thought it went better than Torvok. Never mind, okay. Rewind. Do you want me to take <laughs> off the nine or no? Um. Because I was just about to click it. <laughs> What we'll do is have your turn go. We'll see if this changes anything. Okay. I was because just going to attack orange. That may like a f okay, attack orange then. Uh, Again, enfeebling strike. Okay, 19. That is a hit. Well, I hit so him. Orange is, yeah, so orange is going to take the damage that it needs. It takes a minus 2 to attack rolls, but it only knocks it down to a 23. 23, yeah, so it still does the 9. So it's still going to hit you in this case. So yeah, you're going to lose the 9 then. Okay. And he still does his shift to here. And then red shifts forward. Readying his dagger. Okay. Oh! Oh, wow. Crit. Okay, so oh. the last... So the one thing I forgot to mention about the crit hit system... Don't worry, it's nothing insane. The crit hit system for 4E will apply to enemies. So when they crit hit, they just do max damage possible on the hit. Okay. So you take 7 damage, Paul. Okay. Okay. And I'm bloodied, oh. so put that up. Okay. Then blue is going to swing his mace at Tia. What's that six beside my name? I don't know. You put the heart there apparently six times. <laughs> I didn't put anything there. Uh, Weird. <laughs> Super bloodied. <laughs> I'm like never... dead in a second. <laughs> okay, this is going after T is AC. Got to hit. Okay. Eight right. damage, and he shifts. That's shifting, Jesus. Oh, uh, and I'm bloodied. Find me in the Alps. Hold up, I can put this up. Okay. Then green is going to go for Baron with a dagger. Okay. Then that's going to lead to Tia's turn, yes? Oh, you've got yes. a lot, sorry. 17 versus AC. No, miss. Okay, Tia, you're up. I'm going to begin by uh, shifting to flank him. Shift, okay, go ahead. Uh, and then I'm going to follow that up with an easy target. Target. All ears. Well, that doesn't do oh! shit. Of course. Do you just want to kill me now? Like, is that just going to be easiest? Should I just throw it out? Okay, throw so the blue is still going to take the three damage from the attack. Okay. It still grants combat advantage to you. Okay. But you're on the end of something here, and that's a 1d100 roll that determines what just happened to you. <sighs> I'm, we're all going to die in this encounter. I can just feel it. Yep. 38. Okay, I need you to go ahead and roll for me a 1d20 once again. A 2. Mm. Okay, a 1d4 one more time. Hmm. You are slowed for four rounds. Goody. That's not so bad. That's fine. But yeah. you have a chance to saving throw against that right now. On d20. Yep. 
You're good. I gotta type it up. I'm just typing it up. And you saved against it. Cool. Nice. Okay. It is now Which Homer's turn. Up. I'm gonna try and save against blind first. Okay, go ahead. Saved. Okay. Cool. Nice. Woo! Um... So, I guess I will first... Vicious Mockery on blue. Um, the saving throw was your standard action. Oh, gotcha. Never mind. You have your move and you have your minor. So, I will just, uh, use my minor to Majestic Word, Thea. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, oh. you, so, Tia, you spend a healing surge... You okay. regain the 5 off of that, the 4 from the Charisma, and the Temp HP equal to the Charisma, so you technically just regained uh, 13. Thank you. Right, but I spend a Healing Surge, yes? Correct. Okay, that's fine. Spend a Healing Surge, but you regain, like, almost triple what you would have gotten from yours anyways. Yeah, no. Totally not gonna say it, complain. Alright. Alright. You are no longer bloodied now. Oh, yeah, right. I'll... Oh, okay. Or you can fix it, that works too. Okay, and now it goes to Torvok. Unless okay. Homer's doing a move or anything? Nah, I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Okay, so... I guess really my best move is to hit blue, right? What's, yeah. the, what's the symbol next to him? Oh, that is the mark that represents that Dia has combat advantage against him. Okay. So, um, let me check what this one does. No, I don't want that one. I'll do a... Standard action can be only done once per encounter, correct? Excuse me? Or the, uh... My two fang strike can only be done once per encounter, correct? Correct. Underneath each thing, it'll say like either encounter or at will or daily. That determines. Just how wanted much to you verify do. what that was. Correct. Encounter is once per encounter. Okay. Um. So I will do, I guess, twin strike on blue. Okay. And they both. Ooh, when you crit failed blue. the first one. <sighs> Why? Why? So... It's going to be a 1d100 now for you. 72? <clears throat> These are so uh, many fucking crit fails. 1d20? <laughs> or 1d20. We're going to die. We're so dead. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, 19. Okay. 1d4. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you are dazed. Four rounds unless you save against it. You have I'm a saving throw though, right, right now. <laughs> uh, you may be a little confused. So if roll a 1d20 for save. You're going to confused all your life, honey. So roll a saving throw here. <laughs> oh, okay. It doesn't even matter. Nice. You're very lucky. Good. Huh. Because dazed, just for future references for everybody, if you're dazed, you grant combat advantage. You may only take one action per turn, and you may not flank enemies. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I know we needed that. So, Dazed is a bad thing. Baron, you're up, and you do also know about Second Winds, correct? The, I believe so. I remember talking about it at some point. That's okay. Like after you die? No, Second or... Wind is when you're bloodied, you may use a healing surge. Yeah, I'm going to Regain that, that HP and get plus two to all defenses till the end of your next turn. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so your Second Winding is your standard, then. Yes. Wait a second. Uh, hang on, that may be different for you, because you're a dwarf. I don't know. You may have the ability to do something different with that. Okay, hold on. I'll take a look at my sheet here. Uh, no, you do not. There is a feat that I think dwarves yes. can take that allow you to use it. Wait, I what? have it. I have dwarven resilience. Use second one as a minor. Oh, that's right. It's a racial feature, so it is a minor action. So you can still attack, actually. Yeah, so nice. I'm going to do that. So it heals for seven, take one away, right? From the surges? Correct. Okay, hold on. That minus one here. Okay, and I am going to attack the archer okay. with 
Fuck, I don't know. Let's just do a holy strike, I guess. Okay, since you did that, I'm going to go ahead and give you this that denotes you have plus two to all defenses until the end of your next turn. Oh, and I'm not bloody anymore. Strong. Perfect. Awesome. Too strong. That's Thanks. a ridiculous little attack. symbol. <laughs> <laughs> a flex. Oh, and with the flex. Ooh, this nice. could be fun. Critical hit. Go ahead and roll me a 1d100. This could be fun for you guys. Maybe. We fun. needed this so badly. Those are good noises. Yeah, that's a good oh noise. Oh my goodness. This is going to be very interesting here because this is DM's discretion on something here. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, this is good. Um. So when you go, you're using a. Are you using a crag hammer? Like, what's your weapon that you're using here? It's a maul. Oh, ooh, it's a mall. Even more fun. <laughs> okay. So first of all, let me just throw this out there. This is gonna be—you're gonna love this one a lot, party. Pretty sure about this. So when you you steal yourself uh, for another strike when you uh, swing forth with your mall, guided by the power of your gods. Mm -hmm. When you swing your mall. Swings so hard, he falls to the ground, dead. Okay. His arm but... is about forty feet this way. Okay. <laughs> but and he sustains thirty-three damage. Wow. Yeesh. Okay. Wow. He is dead. Awesome. Jesus. Okay. So that's what happened. The critical hit in this case, you were able to remove a major limb and do triple damage on your roll. <laughs> that Ooh. that sounds like fun. I really wish so, I had one for green. Your critical hit on that one really did a lot. So he is dead. Nice. So we knocked one out. Knocked one, one out. Down. Counts. Yes. The, yeah. uh, the rest of the the rest of his friends are so shocked they lose their next turn of initiative oh. nice nice so it goes to tia okay um oh what am i thinking okay i was gonna and for the fun of it let's just say you actually have combat advantage against these guys i mean you did just kind of rip somebody's arm off with a fucking hammer I mean, it doesn't matter you already had combat advantage um okay i'm gonna take a repo strike against blue repo strike call you and that, that's plus two to everything. Uh, of it's that. Plus two, plus, okay, so it's plus two because of your combat advantage, plus two because. on your feet, so it's a 13. Blood, and plus two because of uh, uh, flanking. Oh, and flanking, 15. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's still a miss. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Yikes. By an edge. All right. Um,. I don't think there's any strategic way for me to move that would maybe help, but there's not much I can do right now. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, end my turn. I mean, I can't. There's, I mean, party unless you see something I can do, move to help, maybe flank <clears throat> anybody else. But onward, victory. Okay, is that all? Yeah, that's all. Homer, you're Sorry. up. All right. I will misdirected mark on blue. Okay, go ahead. Miss. Mm. Mm. And then I'll t I'll use for my minor action this turn. I will try to dragon breath both orange and blue. What is the range on that attack? Is it three? That's a yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a miss on both of them, too. Alright. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. Okay, Torvac, you're up. Um. So. I'm kind of scared on what to do, but might as well do a, um. Actually, have we hit any of these guys? Maybe. Checking? I, I can divulge that information. You've hit two of them. You have hit 
blue and orange. How many times have we hit them? One each? I may not divulge that information. Okay. I believe well, you with... I believe you have, but on stuff like that, you gotta keep track. If you're gonna go Remember for, we're like, flanking blue. Hits. Yeah, you're flanking yeah. blue. Yeah, so... detect blue. Since blue has the ability to kick both of our asses right now, I'm going to do a two fang strike on him. Two fang, go for it. Do on your Mother attacks. Motherfucker. Wait, so no, that's. Plus yeah. two is 12 and 26. So the first one does not hit, but the second one does. Okay, and so that does six damage, or six, whatever. Yeah. And that is a standard action, so... You have a minor and your move still. I don't know if move is a good idea, though. Yeah, um... I think I'm gonna shift towards Paul. Okay. Just to avoid being, um... Blanked. Oh. Okay. Okay. Because, too, you can still shift to yeah, yeah. there. I thought about if... doing that, but I, I was going to do that last turn, but I didn't think there was a really reason to it, and I realized you probably didn't want to be flanked anymore. Okay. Yeah. You're good. Okay. So, yeah, that'll end my turn. Your move, Paul. Baron, uh, sorry, it is Baron. your turn. Uh, uh... Keeping in mind at the end of this... Actually, because they kind of skipped their turns... Uh, actually, no, that is standard rules. So, end of your next turn, all these defenses fade from you. Right. I'm just going to Enfeebling Strike green. Enfeebling Strike on green, go for it. See, hey, that's Ooh, a that hit. That looks good. Wow, nice hit. Ready. Nice. He is at minus two. Next attack roll. Awesome. Actually, until uh, attack roll is till the end of Paul's next turn. Yeah. Okay. It's now Orange's turn. Orange is going to swing his mace at Torvok. Uh, of course he is. Why well, wouldn't he? Yeah. 21 versus AC. <sighs> Hit. <laughs> Hit and Jesus. shifts. Minus Blue shifts. Six. Right, minus six, right? Correct. So blue shifts. Swings his mace at Torvok once again. 19. Hit. 5 damage. Shifts again. Green shifts. Jeez, they are strategizing a lot. <laughs> yeah. Ooh! Ooh! Nice. nice. He what stubbed I his do on toe this against my armor. <laughs> or um. Well, he's one of the dagger wielders. He slips on oh, the really? alcohol that I spilled. You spilled you alcohol since when? <laughs> <laughs> you guard that Good thing point. more than you guard us. He goes to go for the dagger for you, but he leans it back with such force, he just throws it into his foot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so amazing. He throws worse than Kanye, or is it 50 Cent? So he, so first of all, he was minus on the roll, but now he's gone, injured himself, bloodied, and has ongoing of two damage. Wow. Which he's well, going to attempt to save against and actually does. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, that part. But he still did six damage to himself. But, you know, can't argue about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. He is turn. I'm going to start my turn by moving two. Okay. Right here, flanking. Uh, okay. Do I get opportunity attack then, or whatever? Yeah, you have you have combat advantage against them. Combat advantage. Uh, I'm gonna repost strike again. Okay. Uh, plus 14. four. And because it's an opportunity attack, it's 16. That is a hit. Nice. Yeah. You uh, deal eight damage to him, and if you want to, you have your opportunity for backstabber. Uh, yes. Go for it. Uh, what do I have for that? It's. It's your backstabber roll. Okay, give me a second. Make attack. 
Sneak attack. Sorry. Sneak attack. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I was just saying. I didn't think it was backstabber. I thought it was sneak attack. Oh. Wow. He is not doing so hot. <laughs> Bloodied. We needed that. Yes. Yeah. Bloodied. Barely. Uh, and then I'll, uh. Virtual it's battle. Homer's turn. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Regain those three. Okay. I'm going to, uh. Stirring shout on orange. Stirring shout on orange. Go ahead. Versus will hits. If I shift, I cannot. Um, I cannot move. Correct. If you shift, that is your move. Okay. Okay. So you hit orange for ten. Whenever the ally hits the target, they regain four HP. Nice. It is now Torvok's turn, unless Homer's doing anything else. Um. Uh. For now, yeah, for now, I'm done. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to strategize. How much health do you have? Uh, 18 out of 30. Oh, okay. Because I'm thinking I can shift to here and avoid getting flanked by that dude. Yeah, but if he... Because if you stay here... If you stay here... Oh, no, he, never mind. He can't shift. No, he can't shift and flank you until without provoking or, an opportunity attack. Yeah. Or either way, I can avoid getting flanked no matter what. Oh, no, wait, you're right. You're probably better off because then he'll try to flank you. But I don't know if he's... In, he did try to flank you and then he ended up moving over anyway, so... Really, either way, he moves before I do, so... If you stay there, no matter where he decides to move, we can end up flanking him. Yeah. So, that's the only I, good side about where you're currently standing. Yeah. Because I can yeah, still I mean, hit him, right? Actually, I could hit him and then decide if I want where I, if I want to move. Yeah. You could do so, that, too. Yeah, I'll do a um, twin strike, I guess, against the uh, little blue. Okay, I'll go think ahead. That's good. Unless anyone says otherwise. No, that sounds good. Go ahead, cool. it up. And they both miss either. Eleven way. and a seven is a double miss. Awesome. Well, you yeah. wouldn't do much damage anyway. Bam. Yeah. Or, well, I can still shift if I want to. Oh, that's right. You may shift if you wish. That's right. Uh, is there a reason to, though? Like To avoid damage? Well... I could shift to uh, right here. You're right. Okay. Yeah. I don't that see one, any, not... any negative Yeah, no, that would be a good thing to do. And then if he, if he does decide to move over that way, to, and then I can still flank him. Okay. Yeah, so I'll shift there. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Baron, you're up. Okay. This guy's marked, right? For healing? Yes, I should probably throw that. I will go ahead. I have a mark for that I can do. Okay. Um, I haven't used an encounter power yet, I don't believe, so let's use Divine Strength on okay. this guy. Orange? Yes. Go ahead. So that, I guess I gotta type it in here. Okay. You get to apply your strength while there's extra damage on your next attack this turn. That was your minor. So can I use, and like, an Enfeebling Strike at the same time with that? Yes, you may, because that's a minor okay. attack. Just keep in mind that if you do not hit, it does not give you that damage anyways. Yes. And because that was a channel divinity, you may not use your other divinity spell this encounter. That's right. Yep. Okay. So, Enfeebling Strike. Miss, I think. No? Maybe? It depends. 15 on AC. And who was that on? Orange. Miss. Nice. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. Meh. Alright. It is now Orange's turn. Okay. Wings with his mace at Baron. Hit. <clears throat> Six damage. Shifts. 
shifts. Ooh, um. ow. Uses his mace. Ooh. Oh, wow. Crit. Wow. Nine damage. Shifts. That's not a crit. What? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it is. is. 20? <laughs> oh. Natural oh, okay. 20? I'm sorry. I was Nat reading 20. 18. Sorry. And that 20 is a crit. And then green stabby with a dagger. 19. Of course it hits. It doesn't even matter what it hits for. I'm dead. And six damage. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. Oh, shit. So you are down. Yes. Fuck. Okay. I don't want a damn thing Burn! we can do about it either. Bear, no! What happens if I go negative six? We'll just go negative five? Um, yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when the characters go down, what has to happen is on their turns, they make saving throws versus death. Yeah. Okay, it is Tia's turn. Well, I'm not really flanking anybody anymore, and there's not really a way I can get around... A, like, there's no way I can be flanking anybody right now, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead. I haven't used my torture strike this game, this encounter yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and just roll for that. On blue? Mm-hmm. Go for it. 13. Miss. Um, I can't do anything else right now. So, moving okay. on. Okay. Goes to Homer. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no way to help Baron without, like, being next to him? Nope. Mm. If you want to move closer, um, we could... I'm trying to target... Blue at the moment. Maybe if I keep targeting blue, if Torvac, you want to start targeting orange, then Homer can shift in and possibly um, revive Paul. Or fuck names, Baron. <laughs> I was gonna plan on hitting uh, orange or blue either way. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna move here and try vicious mockery on blue because. Vicious Mockery on blue, okay. 15 versus Will is a hit. Nice. And he goes uh, down. Nice. Okay. Good. okay. Perfect. It is now Torvok's turn. Alright. I will do a twin, stri a twin strike on orange. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> I hit the button. There, there it goes. There, there it goes. Is. Oh, oh, there's a critical hit in there. Woo! Nice. Oh, yes. There are two hits in there. Now, hang on one second before we get uh, crazy on that, because I need to check on one thing. Does he regain health for each hit that he lands? Do I re regain Whenever health? an ally hits the target. That oh, ally cool. So HP. you just regained 8 HP. Awesome. Woohoo! And now you get to do the fun crit rolls. 1d100, please. I can find my keyboard. No. Uh, R1d100. 79. Ooh, this is nice. Cool. Okay, he's going to go 79. ahead. 79. So 79 in this instance is going to be a check that the opponent must make against the specific difficulty check level. He fails it. He is now stunned. Okay. Nice. Or four turns. Four rounds. Nice. Awesome. So he is now he's stunned, which in the D and D parlance means he grants combat advantage. Cannot flank an enemy. And cannot take any actions. Fantastic. Oh. Okay. So he's pretty well locked down with that hit. Nice. Uh, hey, Homer, if, uh, how many rounds would it take you to get into possibly uh, reviving Paul? Because you I'm... seemed like the, you had the impression that you might be able to do that. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm still not sure how that works. Okay. okay. It is Baron's turn, so right now he can't do anything oh, except do a saving... Oh, you have a mind. No, that's right. Um, or a move, which can be a move, correct? 
Uh, you can do either. And here's the best part, too, is that he cannot take action, so you could actually walk in front of him over to somebody else, and he won't opportunity attack you. Yeah, because I could also teleport either way. Um, but I think I will... Hey, you know what? I'll just go... Over... I think I should maybe go over here. I don't think. So I can uh... set up an attack. On green? Yeah. I think... Okay. Because the orange is pretty much foobar. I mean, he's not even bloodied yet, though. Yeah, exactly. He still has full oh, health. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Orange is bloodied. Oh, okay. Okay. That attack bloodied. Let's say we've done enough damage. Okay. I mean, it's up to you, because I might... I don't know if I'm going to help you flank right away, though. I might go out to head and just try to knock out orange, but, um... As long as I think one of us are... Here's what I'm thinking. As long as one of us, both of us, have the enemies engaged, that gives that can distract them and give Homer an opportunity to come in and uh, possibly you know, help Paul if he can. I think I'll really... then go here, just to be here, okay. pretty much. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, because I can uh, you know, go for orange, or yeah, yeah. Dia can flank orange, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, for yeah. the setup, okay. basically. Yeah. 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 Okay. And maybe distract. So I'm good. Okay. Go so just a D20 saving throw? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, your condition does not change. Okay. All right, it is now Orange's turn. Orange cannot do anything except attempt to save. And he does. Okay. So next turn, he's back in commission, but he doesn't do anything this time. Okay. It is now Green's turn. Green grabs his dagger and goes for Torvok. That's a miss. Let's say I know single turn? digit. Tia's turn. Ah. I am going to start by moving here. Okay. Uh, gives flank combat advantage, all that good jazz. I'm gonna Correct. go ahead and just all I, I mean, all I can do right now is uh, repost strike. Post strike. That is a That's hit. That's a hit. Yeah. That is a big hit there. Four damage, and you may also do your sneak. Your sneak, correct? Because you still have combat advantage. Yeah. He is unsteady on his feet, but he is still standing. Nice. Okay. Homer, you're up. Okay. So. Um, if you move to, if you can, and you can move to right here, you won't be, you can, you won't be inside of any enemies. If you want to mm. help, I don't know what your, I don't know what your line of thinking is right now, but. So what are the uh, the ways to help to get someone up when they're dying? Okay, so the way that it works is that you can make first aid checks using heal, mm -hmm. and what happens is, you can. Do one of two. You can do one of two things. You may do a stabilize the dying, or you may grant them a saving throw. Mm -hmm. Which one is? Are, are they the same difficulty to pull off? They are the same difficulty in terms of check. The way that they work, each one is if you stabilize the dying, if you succeed, the character may stop making death saving throws until they take damage. Which means that they are just like. They're locked in, like, the, unless they get hit again, then they have to start taking more throws again. If you grant the saving throw, the adjacent ally may immediately make the saving throw, or they get a plus two bonus to a saving throw at the end of their next turn. Okay. Well, I will move here. Okay. Huh? And I guess attempt to... Uh, you could move here. Grand. And, um, no, but then he's gonna anything. he's gonna open himself up to attack. He's gonna open himself up right where he is right now. He doesn't. There's no none of the enemies can hit him. But if he moves here, he can uh, allow me to flank uh, green next turn. Right, which but is then literally he opens next himself turn. Up, but I'm still more worried. But about then he opens taking himself up to first. attack from green. Okay. Just opening up that possibility. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna do a check on Paul. Yeah. 
Are you going to do stabilize the dying or granting the Stabilize. Throw? Stabilize dying. Go ahead and make Tradition me a heal. Tradition of armor. Yeah. Okay. Make <laughs> me a heal check, please. That's a 1d20 plus 1. You do not stabilize him. Alright. And I that tried. was a standard action this turn. You still have your minor. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to use it. I, not gonna I don't use think it. there's anything. Okay, I can Torvok, do it. it is your turn. Um, Keep in mind I'm that Orange do... is back in commission. I'm going to do a... Um, yeah, twin strike on both of them. Okay, so you have to tell me which attack is going to hit which then. Uh, first on green, second on orange. First on green, second on orange. Go ahead. That that's not that's... twin strike. <laughs> I did the wrong one. I apologize. <laughs> twin strike. Teleport away. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. I hate when that happens. Oh, oh no! Oh. No, 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 no! Okay, ass. so here's a blend of news here. Bad news is the first attack, which went on green, was a horrible crit fail. <laughs> the good news is is that you do kill orange. Oh, yeah. that is good news. Thank okay. God. You kill orange. You regain four HP off of that, but you're gonna be crit fail tabling for me. One d one hundred, please. Okay, perfect. Maybe. There we go. Oh, oh wow, wow! Okay, one d twenty, please. One d twenty. Jesus Christ! Wow. Superstar. Okay, one d eight, please. One d eight. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> the twos. The Am twos. I alive? <laughs> the good news is, all that you did was you dropped your weapon and it went back here. Okay, oh, that's, okay. that's, that's it. I still have my other weapon, though, right? Correct. Okay. okay. It would take a miner to pick it up, but trying to pick it up from where you're standing would provoke opportunity. Mm. How badly do you need that? I wouldn't say horribly. Because <laughs> here's the thing. Because he's, here's what he's I'm almost saying. dead, anyways. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is I could go over and get that for you and bring it to you and give it to you. Or I could go flank him, and that's the thing. Is I think you, flanking you him, flank him makes more sense. Okay. 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 That's, what, that's what I thought, but I thought I would double check. Is Torfox turn over? Um, I can. Uh, actually, I think I'll shift up one to make um, it a little bit more easy if I can. You may not flank with a dead body. Well, I can flank for Tia. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah. So okay. I that shift may go there. ahead. Okay, done. Yeah, and if yeah, and, and if uh, Bear, sorry, I forgot his name for five seconds. If he does manage to get up, he can just move there. Okay, yeah. Baron, I need a saving throw versus death. The condition does not change. Okay. Phew. Okay. Now it is Dagger's turn. He's going after Torvok. AC is a miss, pretty sure. Miss. Yeah, you're up. Um, one, two, three, four. Three plus striking against two. Green. Plus hit. Two. Nice. Uh, hit. hit for seven. Combat advantage. Roll sneak attack. Plus. Third. Steady on his feet, but still standing. Um, and then... I I can't do anything else this turn. Okay. Homer. Homeboy's gonna die. Yeah, but no, we gotta no make sure... No is... okay, okay, just to throw out there, no change is an okay thing. Yeah. It's yeah. if I have to say you slip one step closer to death, that's when you start getting concerned. No change is good change. Yeah. yeah I'll, attempt, I'll attempt to stabilize. Okay, stabilize, go ahead. I'll talk, when I said homeboy, I meant dagger dude. Oh, okay. You do not stabilize. Alright. Okay. Goes to Torvok. I'll do the heal thing, or actually, if I do the heal thing, can I still attack? Uh, you need to be next to him to attempt it. 
Yeah, mm. and it's a just kill it standard action. Yeah, just just, kill just get rid of them. We'll take care. All of All right, I'll do that. It's when we're done. D twenty, and then just because it's a my weapon is a six, so I just do yeah. our one D twenty. Well, if you do a twin, if were you gonna do a twin, you can do twin strike. I'll just have can... to tweak the roll accordingly. Okay, so yeah, or yeah, I just do a. Twin yeah, strike just do, if you want to do what twin do. strike, I just need to tweak the roll, and I'll explain how the roll gets tweaked. Okay, so yeah, I'll do it. Oh shit! You actually can't. You need to be wielding two melee weapons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why. What I was yeah. saying. Nope. Oh, okay, I, I forgot about that requirement. Yeah. Um. So I'll just, like I was Let saying, me... just do the regular attack. Okay. Since you have your lesser weapon in hand, because you lost your sword. Yeah. I have that's, my sickle, I believe. Or yeah, whatever. you have your sickle, so for you that's going to be a 1d20 plus 5. Uh, 1d20 plus 5. Okay, versus hit. AC is a hit, because it's also a 20. And so your damage for that is going to be 1d6 plus 3. No. And he's down. Okay. Nice. Good. Cool. Da, 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 God da, damn it. Alright. God damn it. Right. All right. <laughs> so it goes to Baron's turn. He can make a saving throw now. Okay. Oh, wait. I have. Oh, no. Never mind. Nothing. Your condition does not change. Seems to be the theme. Um. At least it's not getting worse. No. I'm going to... I'm glad about it. Will, it. will it then go to me? Yeah, it would go to you at this okay. point. Okay. So I'm going to roll the healing throw uh, to um, give him another saving throw. Okay. Let me see what my heal is. So yeah, go ahead and run that. One and D20 by the by, I have, I have a six heal, so... Okay, yeah, I only have plus one. Okay, let's go ahead and make that roll, though. Nope, you don't give it to him. Okay. Homer's turn. We have the worst rolls ever. Like, they're, nice. they're we really the bad. Nice. Oh no! Oh, if you would have crit failed, I could have real had some bad <laughs> shit. With that, dude. Okay, Torvok. Pretty close. Well, though. Twenty plus. It's plus heal, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you gotta do next turn, don't you? Okay. Oh. Okay. Wow. I'll, sh I'll move down or shift yeah, down. Yeah, it doesn't do matter. But so if you want to, you can give him a saving throw, or you can just give him a saving throw on his turn, which is coming up now at a plus two. I don't see what the difference is. <laughs> yeah, well, one is a plus. Either two, he rolls one is twice regular. or rolls once. And gets I'll plus do the plus two. two, two. Yeah. Or I was about to say, yeah, that would technically be it. He either rolls twice or he rolls one with a plus two. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, just give him the plus Are two. Are you feeling lucky? Obviously. Okay, I'll take oh the God. plus two. <laughs> There's food waiting for me, so I'd like to, you know... Plus, I, I just said plus two. I know. Okay, so okay. Paul, go ahead and roll. It's a saving throw with a plus two in this case. Wow. Live, man! Nope, now you are one step closer to death. Oh! Wait, 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 hold on, um, Homer has the lightning thing, can you do, like, the, uh, <laughs> the oh, uh, you know what, for creativity on that one, I will allow this, if you hit him. Wow. Oh my my dragon breath? Lightning breath? Um, do you have, is it lightning dragon breath, or do you have another one? I have lightning dragon breath. If you hit him, I will allow this revive. Okay. Well, right. it's it's my turn, so I'm gonna roll mine. Oh. Okay. Nope. <laughs> well, I mean, it was technically my turn anyway. Okay. Yeah. We'll go Tia first, so... and then I actually have. Okay, so that doesn't work. You're gonna laugh your ass off at this because he's technically considered a helpless target. His defenses are at minus five, so his reflex is actually a six. So you hit him. Nice. Oh my god. And you jolt him back to life. Yes! <laughs> yes! Boom! Yes! All those fucking dragons oh, watching the house. He kind of just... 
Yeah, I was about to say, he's definitely a little on the groggy side. Hey guys, he... what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to Christ. I, I swear to Christ. Okay. Swear to me. So we are right now at 420. So we've got Hello, about... Swag. So we've got about 40 minutes left. Question is, do you want to wrap up this piece of the quest chain and call it a day? I mean... There's no more I fights. I can promise you that. No more fights today. That should be fine. I just need to go... I, like My family's like, having dinner right now, so like I just am going to need to go grab food at some point in the near future. Okay, so. well, we'll be done. Like If we're going to just wrap up this quest chain, I don't see it taking more than another like 10 minutes, honestly. That's fine. That right. works for me, then. Okay, so Baron is kind of back up after being shocked back to life and after You're getting one step close to his door to uh, death's door so cool. you're in the middle of I the road I reach my hand down to help him get up get away from me <laughs> fine then I'm gonna so. use my surges to heal up okay for you, that is going to put you at full, but I believe it's going to cost you, let me see here, at 30 with like, 7. It's going to cost 5. Yeah, it's, yeah, because one of them gets only like 2, <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. I mean, I I'm going to suggest that we all head back to the tavern and maybe yeah. rest up Wrap since the day we up. all, yeah. First round's on me, guys. Well, here you was. I don't have a lot of healing surges, and I'd like to regain my ability to use a couple of different things. Well, here's what the situation is. You guys still need to find those goods. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And you killed all of them. Hmm. So, Their entrance maybe, has to be somewhere around here. Maybe a perception check might help you guys out. All right. uh, I'm going to say I don't know if I should be the one to do it, but who has... I only have three. One. I have one. Maybe you should I'll be the one to do it. Roll the perception oh. check, then. Paul, Paul has For a better perception. Perception? Two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have three. Okay, yeah. I'll roll it. The five. Mm. Not so great, but everybody else do the roll, please. Okay. Just in case. Yeah. Can't really get. Okay, there's ten. An eleven. And a fourteen. And a fourteen. <laughs> okay, you kind of see off in the distance inconspicuously hidden boxes in a bush. Okay. Um. How far off in the distance? Maybe oh, about two hundred feet. I uh, let me double check. I will. Uh, I'd like to sneak up to them, sneak up to the boxes, and attempt to um, steal one. Stealth check. Okay. Uh, it's a D twenty. Let me double check. Make sure I have that right. Mm -hmm. Uh. It's... Your stealth should be stupid. Yeah, no, it is. That's why I offered. That's why I said I'd do okay. it. Okay, you sneak up go? to the boxes, all quiet, quiet, and then your leg gets stuck in a bear trap. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> what, what is this style buff? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. If anybody catches the reference, I love you. Um, I just did. Oh wait, yes, that was Shia LaBeouf. Good job. <laughs> yes, I, I had to do that, I had to do that. Um, when you go to the boxes, you see that it's pretty much the vast majority of the supplies that got stolen. Like, maybe a sack of grain missing, but just about everything else that Rain described is there. Okay. I, um... Great. I take... How heavy is the sack of grain? Uh, the sack of grain is probably 10 pounds-ish. Okay. Um... Okay, let me think about this for a second. How... Okay. Um... I don't know how... I attempt to sneak off with the uh, side, the sack of grain. Okay, well, you do, because you stealth checked with it, so... Oh, let me rephrase that. Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, 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 no, you're good, you're right. Okay, I so I was gonna... are you guys going to take those supplies back to the town, then? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you all gather up the supplies. Uh, but I keep half a sack of grain for myself. Okay. So you grab the supplies and start making your way... Back to Savanti. And you guys head back to the tavern. 
and you start piling the supplies onto the counter. And uh, I'm apparently already behind the bar. Apparently, you're damn quick. You teleported <laughs> behind back there. Um, you start piling the supplies onto this counter and stuff, and you can see that uh, Len is very, very happy that the supplies have shown up. It's well done. You all certainly look like you've definitely seen worse than the rats, though. Eh. Mm. You, pointing at Baron, look like you might have seen death out there. Another day. This is very well. You did what I requested. So here's your payment. And he slides across to each of you small sacks of gold. And he also says, oh, and the room's on the house tonight. God bless him. I pocket the sack Woo. of gold and start walking upstairs to the room. Okay. I yell at him, don't you want a drink first? Fuck off. And I keep going <laughs> up. <laughs> Does anybody else follow? Uh, I take a. I follow as well. Uh, at this point, I... it is getting closer to nighttime. Like it's probably around seven thirty now that you guys have made it back with the supplies. Uh, I request a small glass of wine and uh, make my way. Begin making my way upstairs. He pours one and says, "Don't worry about it. I got you on this one." Thank you, good sir. I follow. I follow Bear. Okay. The, the night is young. I had to stay for a drink and. <gasps> Tales of our victory. Hopefully, and I sit at the uh, the bar and start counting the gold. Okay, you count out thirty pieces of gold in the sack. Nice. And I just sit there. Can I add that to my inventory on the sheet again. then? Yes, everybody may add thirty pieces of gold. And in case you want the breakdown of it, it's five gold for clearing out the rats and twenty-five for getting the supplies back and killing the other gang of rats. Plus twenty-five, and then I still have my uh, half a sack of grain, right? That I stole. Correct. You have your half a sack of grain. He hasn't said anything about that yet. He's he's largely okay. Like he doesn't know about it, but thing is, is he's probably more than okay with it because you got the supplies back, and they're also not going to get eaten by rats, so it should last right. longer. Right, right, right. I just wanted to uh, make sure that I like still did get to keep that because you never know what we're going to need. Sure, sure. Okay, so we have two people upstairs, two people downstairs. So what we're going to go ahead and do real quick is you two are going to arrive in the room that has been fashioned for you in the Wyverns Inn. Oh, wait, do we all have our own room, or is it one, like, suite, or what? As you can see, based on the map, the way that okay. it works is that you have kind of like a small shared living space, but each of you have your own individual uh, sleeping quarters. I call sharing a bed with Paul. I just flop down <laughs> on the bed. Okay. I um, I stay up and uh, I finish my glass of wine. It, um, or I'm sorry, I check the nightstand for um a book. All right. Uh, wait, you do what? I check the nightstand to see what's in there. Oh, that's actually a little bit tough to tell. It's not a nightstand. It's, it's a actually chest, a small right? chest yeah. for you to keep your belongings oh. in. Okay. Um. See if there's anything left over from the last. Person. This what? This right here was this. I'm sorry. Fireflies. Fireplace? Okay. It's hard to tell from there. Um, yeah, I know. I settle... Uh, let me double check and see what I have in my... Um... Grab that while I have a chance. Okay. I settle into my bed and uh, begin to uh, drink. I drink a glass of wine and then as I settle into the bed... And... Okay. And then I promptly fall asleep after finishing it. Wonderful. And so at this point, we are going to go ahead and leave our heroes for the night. After finishing this, the first session of Yalatan, the Age of Change, where somebody actually almost bit the dust tonight. Um, so, experience for the session, ladies and gentlemen. You earned 400 experience for killing the rats, 500 for killing the human rats, and I'm going to kick you guys an additional 100 bonus XP for a fantastic first session, and that will leave you with 1,000 XP total for the night, which nice. means, yes, that's right, level up. Nice. Wow. Okay, can I, like, take two seconds to go downstairs and grab a burger before I die? Like, Absolutely. Okay, cool. I'll be, like, right back. Okay. All right, so, so 1,000 and level 2. Correct. You guys are now level 2, and... 
that is going to mean that each of you will be getting a small little uptick to your abilities. You will also be picking a level 2 utility, as well as picking a new feat for your character. So at this point, what I'm going to do, I actually need to use the restroom. So if we want to, after like I get back, maybe do like just a little post-mortem on the session. If yeah. that's something you want to do. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do that offline, though. Sure. Sure. So thanks for watching. I was waving. There is no webcam, but <laughs> bye. All the waving. It's all there. All Thank the you, everybody, so much for gestures. watching. Keep an eye out on Paul's Twitter for when the next session will be. We'll, we're hoping to have it soon. Probably Indeed. on all of our Twitters. Alrighty. Yes. Bye. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Later. Bye.